Hello, hello, hello everybody, welcome. Yes, I'm just here on my leech treadle wheel. I'm just um, making some tea bowl drinking cups. So join me. Um, we'll start there. We'll start there. And uh, yeah, these are, hi. These, these lumps are 18 ounces, okay? So I'm just going with the flow. And um, yeah, I always like making these kind of bowls because they're sort of rather, although they are sort of, they're the same weight, they are all individual and different in their own way. So I just sort of let, try to let them evolve naturally without... I think the key, the key, key thing is to not, to not force them. So just let them... Just to let them... <laughs> almost like let them happen. Um, so I, I like a nice, when I'm doing these, I like a nice slow wheel speed. They're usually best thrown rather quickly without a lot of You sort of just get straight to the point, you know, as quickly as possible. Just let the... And you know, when I'm doing them, I just... I'm pretty open-minded about the form kind of thing. Although I know roughly what I'm, I'm sort of looking at. Um, roughly what I'm, I'm, I'm desiring, if you know what I mean. So yeah, these are best thrown. These are best thrown with clay that is a bit soft and thrown a little bit quickly and thrown with a slow wheel speed. So you one is getting quite a good amount of feeling into the work. That's that's the key, I think. Now I generally don't stop the wheel to take these off. I just dry my fingertips like this, insert my fingertips, whoops, something's blown away, and, and off they come. I'm gonna have to put that bit of plastic back over this pot. The wind has come in. Good. Yeah, it's very warm today, very dry, and um, I've got a few pots I'm wanting to, um, let's bring the camera down, a few pots I've, that I'm trying to, I want to keep back a bit so I can, um, why don't we just wind this down a touch so you get a little bit more of a sideways angle. Yeah, it's sometimes good to see things from different different angles isn't it like there for example uh, we'll bring it in a little bit like that okay so just bring that clay up just cone it up nicely Alright, and then center it down. You know you get a lot of water on your wheel head. If you put your hand at an angle like that on the wheel head, you see, it'll shoot all the water back into the center and then you can keep your pot. 
instead of losing the water. Now it doesn't necess it doesn't matter if the rims on these are not a hundred percent you know if they've got a little bit of waviness about them that's fine um, you can force that waviness if you want to by by as you're lifting up the clay or by hitting the clay making it all uneven and then, then lifting it you can you can do that if you want to um, to be honest I, I don't do that too much occasionally I do it just a little but because it has the sort of uh, feeling of being a little bit contrived and forced and that's not what these guys are about. These guys are about sort of naturally evolving cups. Just nice and organic feel. Let's see. Dee, 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 dee. See, it's easy to get these off, isn't it? You don't have to stop the wheel. Remember, you see, we're on a kick wheel. We're not. This is. We've got to keep the moment. Keep the. Keep that momentum. Going. But you notice it's it's not very fast. You see. So soft clay. Cone it up. And then, when you centre down, if you centre up, if you bring up a sizable cone like that, when you centre it down, if you push it away from you like that, you see, and then push down, you'll find it'll go down a lot easier. I'm not sure exactly why, but it does. See, I sort of, I push out, go down, push out against the side of my hand here, then I just come up with my hand, all in one, all in one movement, you see. I know somebody will say to me, well, Simon, what, why, why aren't you, um, why aren't you um, throwing these off the hump? Well, the answer to that is because I'm throwing them like this, because that's how I like to throw them. Throwing straight off the wheel head, you know, is, is perfectly okay to do. It's just, it's, it's, just, it's just what I'm used to doing, you see. It's not that one way is better than another. Oh, but Simon, in Japan, where tea bowls originate from, they throw off the hump. Therefore, you've got to throw off the hump. Nah, not really. Not really. I expect somebody will come back to me with some reason why I should be throwing off the hump. Yeah. Ooh, put that one over there. Ooh. Oh, we're still filming. That's good news. Well, let's 
pull back the camera a touch. Let's do a different one. We'll do one. Um, I'll do. I'll do an expanded one. Just. Nothing like making tea bowls, you see, on a on a wheel like this. I've got no whir of motors and pedals to push. Except my treadle here, but that just I can I can listen to the birds, you see. And look out the window here. Look out on the. So I was going to do. Uh, here, why don't we use this paddle? It's got some of this uh, shelf liner stuff on it. So I'm going to keep the cat paddle, wet the paddle, you see. Okay, so let's... So I don't know if you've ever done any expanded pots. I don't think I have done any with you particularly. Not that I can recall anyway. So you want to leave the wall a little bit on the thick side, okay? Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to you see what I'm doing here to the top. I'm just closing that in touch like that. I'm going to use my throwing stick here just a little bit on the outside of the wall here to take away the slurry and any By the way, collect your slurry, put it back into your into your water pot, you see? That's what I try to do. I always try to, you see, go like this and then put that back into the water pot. Then what I do is with the water pots, I when I recycle my clay, I take all this because this is all the fine, the fine particles of clay, you see. So I'm wetting, wetting my, my paddle. Now I'm going to put, put my hand inside here, opposite where I'm going to hit it, okay? You've got to put a hand inside uh, to give something to, for the paddle to hit against, you see? All right, so so by doing so, you, you knock it out of shape, but you don't need to worry about that. Just put your finger inside like that, pretty much. Now I want to just try to get that back a little bit on the top round, okay? So I folded that, that lip in now, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is just wet my hand, put it down inside to the bottom here. And now I'm going to, starting at the bottom, I'm just going to very slowly, carefully. Widen it or expand it, you see. You may need to just dip your hand in water just to Keep it, you know, lubricated as it were. And you notice I've got a finger on the top here, so I'm keeping the top in because when you're pushing from the inside out, it, it obviously it it wants to open out, doesn't it? So, in order to counteract that, okay. So, you just, all that remains is to sort of think to yourself how far you want to go with this, you see. So I'm just looking for the shape. And now this little bit at the top here, you can, 
here, this little quarter inch or so, I'm going to just open that out a touch now, just and give yourself just a little lip there for putting all those ones mouth to like that. So these these will be trimmed. I tend to trim these also when the clay is a little bit on the soft side, you see. Okay. So now you're thinking, whoa, now Simon, how, how are you going to get that off the wheel without messing your nice pretty design? <laughs> so. I'll just give you a little bit of a close-up of that, just so you can see in a bit more detail. All right. So you've got to imagine how that's going to look when it's trimmed. At the, moment, at the moment, it looks perhaps a little bit dumpy looking, doesn't it? But when it's trimmed with a narrower foot, you'll surpri be surprised a little bit of lift it, get, it gets. All right. So. Cut off wire. There he is, here he is. Okay, always clean your cutoff wire, right? Alright, clean it just by pulling it between your finger and thumb like that. Okay, spin the wheel slowly and straight through. Okay. And now what we'll do is pull this all the way back. Oh yeah, that is. I'm gonna Get underneath, right underneath there, and up, up she goes, up she goes, up she goes. Put it down there. With his brothers. <laughs> his brothers? Well, they are kind of like people, aren't they? You see? They're all a little bit, they're all a little bit different, aren't they? Hey, thanks for joining us, folks. Thank you. We have a workshop here this weekend. We have six people coming from, oh, I can't remember to be honest, but they're coming from, from wherever they're coming from. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll be, we'll be practicing here in the studio. What I'm going to do with these, I'm going to try to get them quickly trimmed, dipped in field glaze and put in the kiln and fired, I'm trying to hopefully get a firing in before, before the weekend. So, hey, visit my website, simonleachpottery.com. If you've got a question about something, just write to me, and I'll get back to you as um, soon as I can. And um, leech treadle wheels like this. I'm looking for some more people to, who are prepared to sign up and say, yeah, I definitely would like one and order one, you see. My carpenter can only make five at a time. Well, he can make more than five, but he he needs a minimum of five he's, before he'll start making any. So, yeah, if you're interested in a, in a leech treadle wheel, then please get in touch. And um, I am on Facebook. If you're not a friend of mine, well, I'm not sure, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I think I've got. I think I've. I think I've like reached the limit or something. Anyway, um, what else? Just keep practicing. <laughs> That's the key. Keep practicing. Hey, thanks for joining us, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.